Hi, this is our YouTube channel, Equation by Pharmacist Moms. We welcome you all. Today we will discuss, the brief history of pharmacy. The term of pharmacy, comes from word pharmakon in Greek, that means poison, or medicine. There have been some arguments that, the word pharmacy, comes from Egyptian term pharmaki, or bestower of security, which the god Thoth, patron of physicians, conferred his approbation, on a ferryman, who had managed a safe crossing. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, pharmacy is the art, practice, or profession of preparing, preserving, compounding, and dispensing medical drugs. As per Farlex Partner Medical Dictionary, pharmacy means, a drug store. Pharmacy is one of the health professions divisions, that is combination of health science, and chemical science, which is responsible to ensure, the effective, and safe use of pharmaceutical drugs. The scope of pharmaceutical practice includes, traditional pharmaceutical practice, such as compounding, and dispensing of drug forms. Also, modern pharmaceutical practices, that are related to patient care, in healthcare, efficacy, and safety evaluation of drug usage, and the provision of drug information. Now we'll discuss the history of pharmacy briefly. In the era of Hippocrates, who is called the father of medical science, in 460 BC to 370 BC, the science of pharmacy, has not been known widely. At that time, there were only doctors, that had the obligation, to diagnose the illness, suffered by the patient, as well as to prepare the herb, or the medicine for the patient. In his medical practice, he had used, more than 200 species of plants. As time passed by, treatment had begun to be more complex, and there were many drugs, that must be prepared with complicated preparation, therefore in 1240 BC, the Germany king named King Frederick, took the initiative, to distinguish medicine, with the science of pharmacy. With the existence of pharmaceutical science, it was expected that, the making, and compounding of drugs, would be better, for improving the quality of life of patients. In those days, the pharmacy practice, was the traditional pharmacy practice, associated with compounding, and the provision of medicinal preparations. In contrast to the present day, where many modern pharmaceutical practices are conducted, and related to patient-oriented service, such as clinical services, evaluation of the efficacy, and safety of drug use, and provision of drug information. Since 1400 to 1600s, the word pharma, began to be widely used. Paracelsus argued that, to make a medicinal preparation, it is necessary to know, the content of the active ingredient, and he made a drug from a substance, that had been known already. Claudius Galen connected, the healing of the disease, with the working theory of medicine, which is the field of pharmacology. Abu Ali Sina, wrote several books, on methods of collecting, and storing medicinal plants, and medicine-making process, such as pills, suppositories, syrups, and combining medical knowledge, from several countries, to produce better treatment. Johann Jacob Wepfer, successfully verified, the effects of pharmacology, and toxicology in experiments on animals, as animal experiments, have been origin of preclinical testing, which until now, is a requirement, before the drug is tested clinically, in humans. Pharmaceutical science, continues to spread, throughout the world. The traditional healers and traditional medicine, that initially only developed in Greece, Middle East, Small Asia, China, and other Asian regions began to spread to many countries, 
that adopted this medical science, until finally pharmaceutical science, began to be known in America and marked by the establishment of the first pharmacy college in the world. This was in Philadelphia, USA, in 1821, and many pharmacy college and faculty began to be established around the world, along with the increasing spread of pharmaceutical science. Pharmaceutical science itself also experienced many developments, and until now each branch of pharmacy has a different practice and field, which we will discuss one by one in our next lectures. That's all for today. Hope you will find this lecture helpful. For more informative videos, subscribe our YouTube channel.